Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, today we are going to make a big witch cauldron wreath using the pumpkin wreath form from Dollar Tree. Now if you cannot find this at Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby also sells it um, and you can maybe like check online, but it's the pumpkin wreath form. Now, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need for this. You're definitely gonna need some pipe cleaners, um, Chanel stems, I say pipe cleaners. So I've got black pipe cleaners, use whatever color you want. So for the cauldron, I'm gonna use black deco mesh, mine is from Hobby Lobby. Um, it is 10 inches wide and 10 yards long. It was $7.99, but I always buy this when it's 50% off. Every other week at Hobby Lobby, this goes 50% off, so $4. So I got black. I also got it in orange in this really pretty green color. Once again, these were both, actually, what? <laughs> okay, this one's $8.99 and this one's $7.99. Um, they're the same things. Why is one more expensive? Anyways, always gonna win a 50% off. Then, from Dollar Tree, um, I have the witch's legs. I love these. So, if you're not familiar with these, it's right here. It's the little witch legs. It comes like the little boots. And you get both little legs for $1.25. And it's on a hanger. So, we're not going to use this part. But it comes in this really pretty orange. It comes in this green color. Look how nice that is. And then, my favorite color, purple. So, I'm not sure what color I'm going to use yet, so I just went ahead and got all three colors, and then we'll just kind of decide which one looks the best. Alright, you're also going to need, like, a good pair of, like, sharp scissors, maybe some wire cutters, and a ruler. So, I'm excited for this. Um, now, two years ago, we made this beautiful pumpkin right here using the Dollar Tree wreath form. So, if you haven't seen the video for this pumpkin, I'll link it down in the description box, and then also at the very end of the video. All you have to do is just click the picture, and it'll take you to this pumpkin wreath. But, alright, I'm so excited to make this, and I have on my Hocus Pocus shirt today, because I just figured, like, the whole witchy kind of thing, it was, like, the perfect thing to wear. So, but, alright, here's what we do. Um, if this is the first time you've ever, like, watched one of my videos or made a wreath with me, or made a wreath with me. I am gonna adjust the camera, that way you can see exactly what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you every step. That way, when we are finished with this video, you will know exactly how to make your own big, beautiful wreath. Um, and I've got like a few other wreath videos that I can also like link down below for you. So, but all right, enough of me rambling. Um, as always, I'm gonna adjust the camera, that way you can see exactly what to do. So, okay. Alright, so you're going to take your pumpkin wreath form and some pipe cleaners. So get your first pipe cleaner. You're going to come over here. So here is the outline of your pumpkin wreath. You're going to go to like this first, like the hump of the pumpkin. You're going to take your pipe cleaner. You're going to kind of go behind that wire. Just go right behind it. You're going to get your tails about the same length of each other. Just like that. Now, just give it one, just like a little cross. Okay. All you're doing, just cross your little tails. Now, the, just take one leg. Take one of the legs. You're going to push it back overneath the top of the pumpkin. It's like this little bar right here. And you're just going to wrap it and pull it back to the front. And just give it one little twist. Okay. So, by doing that step right there, your pipe cleaner is not going to slide back and forth. It's not going to slide all the way down here or anything. It's going to stay right there. Okay. So I'm going to show you again. Okay, You take your pipe cleaner. You're going to go to this next little bar right here. You're just going to go behind it. Get your tails about the same length of each other. Okay. Now, just do one little cross. That's it. One little cross. Now, take one of the tails, push it back to the back of the pumpkin, then pull it through to the front, 
and then just give it one just little twist. Now, once again, that's locked. That's not going to slide and go all over the place. That is now attached right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Just go to this very next one. Just go right behind it. Get your tails about the same length of each other. Okay. Then once you do that, you're just going to give it one, one little twist. Now, Take, take one of these and just push it to the back. Just push it back. And then you're going to pull it through the front. And then once again, just give them one good little tight twist. All right, so now you've got these three right here on this side. Now, you're going to do the same thing to these three, to the next three. Okay, so once again, this very next little ball right here. I'm just going to go right behind it, get my little legs at the same length, just one little twist. Now I'm going to go, because of the way it's positioned with the stem, I'm just going to go through that stem and then once again I'm just going to push it down and I'm going to grab it, I'm going to pull it back up towards the front and then I'll just give it one good tight little twist. So I'm not doing anything to the stem. I'm just leaving this alone. Okay, I'll show you again. Just go right behind it. Get your tails at the same length of each other. Give it one just little tight little twist. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna push this to the back of the pumpkin. And I'm just gonna grab that, pull it to the front and then just a tight little twist. Okay, so once again, that doesn't slide. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. To the back. Do one little twist. I'm gonna push this one to the back of my pumpkin. I'm gonna grab a hold of it and pull it back through, and then one little twist. <laughs> All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six at the top. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the bottom. Okay, I'll show you these. Same step, it's the same thing. Just come down to the bottom. You're just gonna go in behind it. Get your tails about the same length of each other. One little little twist. Kind of like a, just make it look like a little X. Okay, now once again, I'm gonna push this to the back of the pumpkin, and I'm gonna pull it through to the front, and then once again, I'm just gonna do one tight little twist, and that is attached. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do it to every single one of these at the bottom. Okay. All right, our last one right here. You're gonna go in from the back side, Tails about the same length of each other. It, you do not have to be perfect with this. One little twist. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna push it to the back of the pumpkin. I'm gonna grab it, pull it to the, to the front, and then one tight little twist. All right, this is what you're gonna look like. You're gonna have six at the top, and you're gonna have six at the bottom. Okay, so just kind of go ahead and open them up just a little bit. It kind of makes them a little bit easier to work with. So now we're going to take our black deco mesh. All right, let's start making our cauldron. So open up your, your mesh here and just kind of pinch the end. You're just going to kind of get all of that end together right there. Okay, just kind of do something like that. Just pinch all of that together. Make sure you have every bit of that. Okay. So what I do is, I'm gonna come over here to the edge. Here's the top of my pumpkin, because there's a little stem. This very first one right here. I'm just gonna lay this right down in the center of that. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one tight twist. That's it. 
Okay, so now that I've got that attached right there in that very first pipe cleaner, one little tight twist, I'm now gonna grab this, okay? And I'm just gonna wrap it around the side. Here's the edge of our wreath frame. I'm just gonna kinda like wrap it around it. Kind of pull that right there. And I'm gonna come down to our very first bottom pipe cleaner. And I'm gonna lay it right down inside of there. And I'm gonna give that one good tight twist. Just one twist, that's it. Okay, okay so then now that you got it at the bottom, just make sure that it stays wrapped around the edge. Okay, so now what I do is, I personally, because a lot of times I sell my wreaths, I like to make sure it's perfect all the way around or that it's clean all the way around. So what I do is, I would now take this, I'm gonna pull it tight and just straight up the back. Okay, so straight up the back, I'm gonna go to that very next pipe cleaner. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this, just pull it straight up the back to that very next pipe cleaner. And once again, just one tight, little twist, just one. So now I grab my deco mesh and then once again, I just kind of open it up. Okay. So now I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna pull it straight down to the very next one at the bottom. And then I'm gonna do a good tight twist at the bottom. And you just want to make sure that it covers everything. And you just went right over the front of that. Okay, so now we got it twisted right there at the bottom. Now once again, I'm at the bottom. I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm just going to grab it and pull it straight up the back to that very next pipe cleaner. So I got that, I'm back at the top to that very next pipe cleaner. And I'm just gonna do one tight twist right here. So that is the back side up towards the front. Flip it back over. Okay. So here's what the front's looking like. I'm gonna make sure that I cover this bar right here. Okay. So just kinda open that up. Pull that over that one. And then once again, you're gonna go to that very next open pipe cleaner. Not the one that you already have it through, but the very next one. And you're just gonna lay it right down into that, op to that pipe cleaner. And then once again, just give it one tight little twist, just one. <laughs> so this is what we're looking like. Now once again, you're gonna turn that upside down. You're just gonna kinda of grab it, pull it straight up the back to that very next free pipe cleaner. And then once again, just one tight little twist, just to hold it. All right, here's what our back is looking like. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it back over. And deco mesh, let me say, it's best if you work like on a counter or a table, that way you can let this just drop to the floor because it can be, mesh can be aggravating to work with. All right, so now that we're back at the top right here in the front, once again, you're just gonna make sure you cover this bar right here. Just kinda like lay your mesh over top of it. And then you're gonna go to that very next pipe cleaner that we don't have anything in yet. So I'm covering that bar up. And I'm just gonna go to this pipe cleaner that I've not used yet. And then I will just do one tight little twist to hold it for me. Okay, so now that I'm to the back again, I'm just gonna grab that and just pull it straight up the back to my very next pipe cleaner that I've not used yet. Okay, so now that I have the back, once again, I'm just gonna flip it back to the front. 
I'm gonna make sure that I cover that next bar. So just kind of open up my mesh. Make sure I lay it over top of that bar. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna come down here to the very next pipe cleaner that I've not used yet. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it right down inside there. I'm gonna give it one good tight little twist. All right, so now we're to the back again. I'm just gonna flip that. I'm just gonna grab a hold of it, pull it straight down to my very next free pipe cleaner, which happens to be the very last one down here. So just put it right through there. And I'm gonna do one good tight twist. That's it. All right, so we're gonna flip it back over. Okay, we're on the edge for the very opposite end. So once again, here's the edge. I'm just gonna wrap this mesh around the edge. And just pull it down to that very next pipe cleaner. Okay, just lay it right down inside there. And then once again, a good, tight little twist. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna repeat everything. We're gonna rewrap it. So, all right, now that we're right here to the back, you're just once again gonna grab it. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it straight up the back and I'm gonna go to that pipe cleaner that I just stopped at. So now you're gonna work your way from this edge all the way back over to here. So now I'm just gonna go back to that same one. And once again, one tight twist, that's it. All right, so now that I have that pulled straight up the back, once again, it's just repeating all the steps all over again, just to make it really full. Okay, so I'm just gonna come to the front, just kind of loop that around to the edge, and come down to that first pipe cleaner. One tight little twist. I'm gonna flip it over to the back. I'm gonna come straight. So I'm gonna pull that now. I'm gonna go to this very next set of pipe cleaners. So I will pull that straight over down over this way. Go to that pipe cleaner. One tight little twist. Bring it up to the front. And then I'll pull it down to the second set of pipe cleaners right here. Once again, tight little twist. That. Just do one tight little twist and then turn it over the back. I'm now going to come to the third set of pipe cleaners on the back side. So you got one, two, three right here. Like I said, this is just to make it nice and full. And if you can hear the coffee all over there, um, Presley's making her some iced coffee. So that's the coffee over there percolating. Okay. All right, so I got that pulled out the back. I'm just gonna turn it back over to the front. All right, and then once again, I'm just gonna come all the way down. One, two, three. So now I'm gonna go to the fourth set of pipe cleaners. Okay. Just lay it right down in the center of that and just one tight little twist. Turn it back over to the back side. So once again, the fourth set back here. Straight down, one tight little twist. Flip it back to the front. And I'm gonna come down to the fifth set of pipe cleaners. And just lay it straight down inside there. And once again, I will do one tight little twist. Come to the back, twist, flip it over to the front. I'm gonna come down to this set right here. And once again, I'm gonna do one tight little twist. All right, so now that I've got the front, back wrapped. I'm now going to take what is left and now I'm just going to 
I'm not gonna do the back anymore. I'm just gonna worry about the front. So this right here, instead of going backwards, I'm just gonna pull it up towards the front. I'm gonna kinda like open it up, make it nice and wide. And we go to the second pipe cleaner up here at the top. And then I'm gonna give that a good tight twist. Now, instead of going backwards, I'm now gonna take that, I'm gonna come back to the front. To the front. I'm gonna come over here to one, two, the third set of pipe cleaners on the front. All right. So the third set of pipe cleaners on the front. One tight little twist. All right, and once again, I'm gonna go wide at an angle. I'm gonna go over this way. Okay. I'm gonna stick it over here in this pipe cleaner, which is the fifth one or the second from the edge. One good tight twist. All right, so now that we're looking like this, I'm gonna just take the excess right here. Let's pull that off there. Now, you can either cut this off and just have like a little tail, or what you can do is you take it, you push it down inside of your pumpkin. Just push it way down inside there. That way nothing comes out. There's no fraying on the ends. And there's the back. Completely covered, neat and clean looking. All right, so now that we have like our cauldron shape, um, all of the pipe cleaners are still attached, okay? We still have all of our pipe cleaners. Now we're gonna have fun with it. We're gonna do the orange for like the flames. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna roll this out. I got my ruler, which a ruler is 12 inches long. So I like to do my things at 24 inches. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna take it to the edge of the deco mesh, and I'm just gonna do one flip. That one flip is gonna give me 24 inches. So now, all I'm gonna do, just cut straight across for like the end of the ruler. All right, so I'm gonna take that. Just put something like heavy at the end. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna take the, all right, so here's the end of my deco mesh. I'm gonna give it a good little row. That way you see like a loop right here. Okay, so now that's rowed. I'm now gonna do like my little spider crawl. What I do is I pinch it in the center and then I let my fingers pinch and crawl all the way up. So now when I get up here, I'm gonna do the same thing. This end, I'm gonna let this get like one or two good little rows. And then I pinch it so it looks like this bow. But you see the ends have like a little, little row to them, like a little loop. That way if the ends start to shed, or fray, it's gonna fray like on the inside. All right, <laughs> what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this one right here. At the bottom, you're gonna to go to your very first set of pipe cleaners at the bottom, right here in the center round pinching. I'm now gonna attach it right in the center of that first set of pipe cleaners and just do one tight little twist for now. All right, so you're looking like that. So we got one, how many do we have? Two, three, four, five. We have six sets of pipe cleaners at the bottom. So I need six um, things of the orange. So I just need five more. Once again, I'm taking my orange mesh, take my ruler. Here at the end, I've got my ruler. I'm just gonna give that one little flip. That one flip is gonna give me a cut of 24 inches long. So 
So take my scissors right up here at the top and just cut that straight across. Okay. So there's two. Like I said, I need a total of six. So once again, my ruler at the top of the deco mesh. Give one little flip. Take my scissors and cut straight across up here like at the top of the ruler. There's three. All right, so now we have six total. And counting this one, we have six of these oranges. Cut it 24 inches long. All right, same thing. I'm just gonna use something heavy at the top. I'm gonna take my end. I'm gonna give it like a good, complete little row. I'm gonna pinch it right here in the center. And then I'm gonna let my fingers do my little spider crawl. So I pinch and then I crawl and pinch up towards the top. Okay. So when I get about like right here, I'm gonna take this end and let this end get like a good, complete little row. And then I pinch it. So you look ahead, it's like really pretty, like little bow tie kind of look. All right, so I have it pinched right here in the center. I'm now gonna go to the very next set of pipe cleaners. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, put it right down the center of that very next set of pipe cleaners. And once again, I'm just gonna give it a good, tight little twist. <laughs> Here's what we're looking like. All right, so once again, take your next little bundle here, next little row, take your end, give it a good, complete little, little row, pinch it in the center, let your fingers kind of like do a little spider crawl all the way up. So when I get about there, I'm now going to let this end do a complete little row for me. I'm gonna pinch it in the center, and I'm gonna to come to my very next set of pipe cleaners, okay? This is like the third set right here. I'm gonna do another one good tight little twist. All right, so that was three, and I have three more sets of pipe cleaners right here to go. All right, so I'm attaching my last one right here at the bottom. Once again, I'm just gonna do my good little tight twist. All right, <laughs> here is our flames. Look at this right here. Okay, so now just kind of twist and play with it. Y'all, I have never made one of these before. I probably should have said that. I've never made a cauldron with like fire. So <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm learning as we go too. All right, but you know what? I love working with pipe cleaners. Cause you can twist and yank and do whatever you want and it's attached. I mean, these pipe cleaners are not going anywhere. So I'm kind of like pushing everything towards the front. All right, there's my backside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. All right. All right, here, this is our fire, our flames at the bottom. I love it. All right, now we are gonna take the green, exact same thing. We're gonna do the exact same thing to the top. Yeah. All right, once again, I need six of these. I'm gonna do six cuts, 24 inches long. So, so I'm just gonna take my ruler, come up here to the edge of my mesh and I'm just gonna do one complete little flip with my ruler inside there okay so where my ruler is I'm just gonna cut straight across <laughs> as straight as I can because I can't cut straight <laughs> all right so there's one like I said we need six of these okay I'll do another one for you all right, my ruler is at the top or at the edge of this. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna give it one little flip, which is 24 inches long. Cut that. All right, 
So like I said, I need six total of those. All right, I've got all six of mine cut right here at 24 inches. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the top. Just something a little heavy to sit at the top, kind of keep that up for you. Same thing, take your bottom, just kind of give you a good complete little row. You can do two if you want. Pinch it in the center. And then like I said, pinch and crawl up towards the top. Now, I'm gonna take that end. I'm gonna also let this end get a good complete little row. And I'm gonna pinch it right there in the center. See how pretty, my little bow tie. I've got my little loops on the ends. All of my ends have that pretty little loop to it. Okay. All right, come up here. I'm gonna start at the very first pipe cleaner on the end, or on the edge. Okay. So my very first one on the edge, I'm just gonna put this right here in the center. And the good, once again, a good tight little twist. Okay. <laughs> Same thing, repetitive. Roll my end completely, a little pinch in the center, and then just spider crawl and pinch up towards the top. Okay. Give that a good complete little row. Pinch it in the center, and then go to your very next set of pipe cleaners. And then just do a good tight little twist. All right, we're at our last one. Once again, I'll show you. Take your end, get you a good, complete little row. Make sure you got that little loop right there. Pinch it in the center. Spider curl it all the way up. Now, this end. I'm gonna let this end also a complete, full little row. Pinch it. I'm going to come to my very last pipe cleaner. Put that down in there. And then once again, a good tight little twist. All right, let's see what we're looking like. <laughs> All right, once again, I'm going to twist these to where the, because this is the back. I'm going to twist down to where they're pretty much all towards the front, just like we did the bottom. So I'm going to kind of twist that. And the next one, it's going to give a little twist, kind of pull that towards the front. Same thing. I'm just going to go along, grab each little, little bow here, little bundle, and just twist it towards the front. Okay, very last one. Once again, just kind of twist that towards the front. This is looking so good. I'm so excited. Okay, now we are going to do witch legs. So I think all right, here's our little witch legs here. I think because I have orange and green already, I'm gonna go with my purple, which is also my favorite color. So what I'm gonna do is, I am just gonna come up here. I don't need this holder or anything. I'm just gonna cut kind of like right below the little stitching right here. I'm just gonna cut straight across. Like I said, I don't want these attached. So let's cut that off. And now I have two witch legs. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do her little legs. Now, like I said, I've never done this before, so I just had to like practice and try a few different things. So this is like my end result. So I'm gonna show you what I did for this. Here's the thing. Obviously when her little legs are gonna go in there, you wanna think about how her feet are going. So this one, the, it's gonna go, the shoe's going that way. So on this one, I need to make sure I attach it to where it's going like this. So you want the feet going in opposite directions, just like that, you know, like her feet going out. I took a paper towel roll. This is the paper, ta paper towel holder, just a little roll. And you're just gonna slide on your little leg here, just like some pantyhose. Twist it, however, whatever you want to do to get up in there. Kind of 
twist it because like I said, that my leg's gonna go this way. So I wanna make sure that this little seam, the little stitching, you can't really see it. So I'm trying to like twist it around towards like the back. All right, so we're looking like this. I don't need all this excess paper towel row sticking out. I'm gonna slide that up a little bit. I'm gonna cut some of that off. Actually, I'm gonna take a little bit more off. <laughs> <laughs> because you were like, I'll be able to hot glue the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna take about that. All right. And two, it may depend on what brand you use. I don't even know. All right, so I did that. That way I've got some excess material. See that like excess material sticking up? That way I can glue this into the inside. You know, like just like that. Okay, but now what you want to do is, okay, think about your feet position. Obviously, I need this one to turn this way. So this is my front side. Now I'm going to turn it to the back, and at the back, at the very top, I'm just going to cut a little bitty slip, slip right up here, just like that. I just cut a little slip right there at the top of the material. I'm going to take one of these dowel rods. I'm going to push it up through the paper towel holder. Through that hoe in the back. Okay, so now that I got that right there, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun. And all I'm gonna do on the dowel rod, I'm just gonna do a little line of hot glue. You don't need a lot, just kind of a nice clean little, oh, that was a lot. <laughs> just a clean little line of hot glue. Just carefully. Kind of push it onto your the back of your little shoe just careful not to burn yourself and <laughs> i wanted it to be like a clean little line of glue y'all crafting is real <laughs> i mean it's just it's never perfect all right so now i've just got some black apple barrel paint this is from walmart you can use any black paint um, i'm just gonna take a little bit on my paintbrush and now the down rod that's sticking out I'm just going to carefully paint this black. That way it's not so noticeable. And I can also hot glue, or I can also paint some of the, the excess little hot glue. I'm just going to carefully just paint that on there. See, look at that. Just like that. <laughs> now that little dowel rod, which is, you know, bracing the shoe because if not, the shoe would just flop. So this way we got a nice little brace and I'll paint it black, just kind of blend in with the shoe. All right, so now that that's hot glued and painted on there, for your little stocking here, what you're gonna do is kind of slide that, just like that kind of exposure little paper towel holder. Now, once again, very carefully, I'm gonna do around the inside on the edge, I'm just gonna do a little line of hot glue. Just kind of going around the inside. You don't need a lot, just kind of a little twist, a little thing of hot glue, a little twist. Then I'm gonna slide that back up. Then I'm gonna use my scissors to kind of push that down inside. That way I don't burn myself. And that all that excess will just kind of stick to that hot glue in there. All right, now to make it kind of pretty, we're gonna take, um, what is this? It's called Sparkle Mesh. This is from Dollar Tree, just in the Halloween stuff. So this is what it looks like. It's black, like glittery, like um, spider webs on it. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kinda roll this out a little bit. I'm just gonna pinch it right in the center. And I'm just gonna start just pinching it. And just kinda making me a little bundle. I didn't measure it out or anything. I know I'm just going to cut that straight across. And I'll just kind of pinch that. Just take you one of your pipe cleaners. Just cut it right there in half. And then I'm going to lay this little pipe cleaner right across where I just have everything pinched. Kind of pull that up just like that. And now I'm going to give this some good, tight little twist. And look, <laughs> look how pretty. So this 
is now going to go around the top right here of our shoe. Okay. So I'm going to sit it right against our little shoe right here. I'm going to take my little tails around towards the back of the shoe. And then I'm just going to give this some good, tight little twist. Just like that. Okay, I got these little tails. And you can either cut those off, or I'm just going to kind of like tuck them down into like the little back of her little leg right here. So see? <laughs> Look how cute those are. Alright, so you're going to notice both of our little witch shoes are going opposite directions. So just make sure you pay attention to that. Okay, but they look so pretty. Alright, now we're going to try to attach these. Alright, so we want to come up here to where, um, like the poison, like everything's like bubbling over. I'm going to turn it upside down. Alright, here's my thought. Right here. This is the top, right here where the pumpkin stem is. Um, if you have this wreath, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The pumpkin stem, right here. You're gonna take some more pipe cleaners. I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna go through this little pumpkin stem right here at the top. I'm gonna add a couple of good tight little twists right there at the top on both sides. So I'm doing two at the top. Just a couple of tight little twists right there. And I'm also going to do two at the bottom of this little pumpkin stem. Just right here in this little pumpkin. I'm going to do a couple tight little twists down here at the bottom of it. And then I'm going to do another one over here on this side. Just go through there. I'm just going to do a couple tight little twists too. Now, because I don't want these bottom ones to slide, I'm now going to take one of the little arm, little tails. I'm going to wrap it, I'm going to push it through the inside. On the outside of that, I'm going to give that a good tight little twist too. Okay. So, right here, it's wrapped down here. I'm going to take one of the tails, I'm going to wrap it completely around a little pumpkin stem. Grab that. And then once again, I'm going to give that a good tight little twist. Alright, so now I've got two at the bottom, two at the top. Okay, right, so I'm going to take my first little leg here. This foot, okay, so you can see it better. Alright, here's the top. I'm going to make sure this foot, I got the back side of it. I'm going to lay it down in these little pipe cleaners that we just added. Okay. One at the bottom. I'm going to do a good, tight, tight as you can get it, some good, tight twist. Right there. See it? Right there. And up here where I just tied this one. Once again, I'm going to do some, do some good, so I'm going to get that tight, really good, tight twist. Okay, several of them. So there's that one. So now I'm going to take this leg. Let's see, and turn it upside down. Alright, so I'm going to lay this down between the bottom one and the top one. Okay. So once again, I'm going to give this some good, tight, twist the bottom and we come up here to the top ones that we just added once again i'm going to give that good tight twist and several tight twist around this all right now we're going to take another full size pipe cleaner right here at the top of our pumpkin stem just take this and you're just going to loop it around the top of that pumpkin stem this is going to make our door hanger. You just want to take the ends, make a little bitty X, just like that. Just kind of make a little X. And you're just going to take those ends, and you're just going to take those, and you're just going to twist these ends several times. Okay. Kind of give a little bend. Alright, so we got our loop for our door hanger. 
Y'all, we are not done. We got a lot more we're gonna do to this. Ignore the hair. I had to put it up in a clip. All right, so we're gonna take off our beautiful little pumpkin here. Let's hang up our witch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. I got a gesture. I am loving this. Um, okay, we're gonna add some more stuff to it and then we're gonna clean it up. Like all these extra, like all the pipe cleaners, we're gonna have to like trim those up. So, but let's like decorate it. And then I'll also have some of the Halloween ornaments from Dollar Tree. Um, these have like the eyeballs on them. There's purple and some eyeballs. And then I just have these orange ones. So let's like add some of these on here. Okay, here's what you wanna do. You already have your pipe cleaners still on here. So just take your pipe cleaner, kind of pull it to the front. The little loop of the ornament, that right there, stick a pipe cleaner tail through it, just through that little loop right there, and then take your little tails and just twist them. Just twist them around that little loop of the ornament. And look, that's attached. All right, so I'm just gonna take some of these purple ones and just kind of slide it through that little loop right there. Once again, take the ends of these pipe cleaners that's already on here. Just do a couple tight little twists on these. Okay. And then I'll pull some from back here. I'm gonna take this other purple one, loop it through that little pipe cleaner. Put that on there. And then once again, around that little ornament, just do a couple tight little twists. Look at that. Okay. So now I'm gonna take one of the eyeballs. One of the little pipe cleaners, I just cut it in half. I'm gonna loop it right through the top of that little ornament right there. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of line that up. And on top of this, you can give that a couple little twists. This way, you can use this pipe cleaner to attach your eyeball. All right, so I'm gonna take one of my little eyeballs here and just kind of like over here, like into the black mesh um, I'm just gonna like poke this one little ends through and I'm just gonna give some tight little twist around that black mesh. I've got an eyeball. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this little blue eyeball and I'm gonna push it through over here onto the side through this black deco mesh. All right, so now it's cleanup time. All of these pipe cleaners that we have on here, what you want to do is go ahead, give each one like a final couple little twist. Okay. Then you're going to take like some wire cutters or some sharp scissors right above your last little twist of your tail. You're going to cut your, you're going to cut that off. Okay. And all you're going to be left with is like this little bitty little nub, like this little stem right here. What I do is, I take that, I will now push that back like, into the wreath. Just push it back. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to this one. Just a couple of final tight little twists just to secure everything. Okay, so right above my last little twist I just did, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut that off. Okay. So once again, I'm just left with this little bitty little tail. I'm just gonna push that, kind of bend it. Once again, a couple tight little twists. Right above my last twist, I'm gonna cut that, and I'm just gonna kind of bend that and push it towards the back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole bottom really quick. Okay, so that whole little bottom row is now cleaned up. I'm gonna come up here to the top where the green is, once again, a couple of final tight little twists to each one. I'm gonna cut off above my last twist. And right here, I'm just gonna bend that down and just kind of push it towards the back. Just like that. Same thing with the little legs. A couple of final little twists. And just kind of trim that above my last little twist. And I'll just kind of bend that down. 
I just like everything to be clean and neat looking. Cut a little twist. Cut that off. And then just bend that down. And then I'll cut above my last little twist. Bend that back into the wreath. Once again, this one is attached to an ornament. So I'll just kind of twist that around a little ornament a couple more times. I will trim that up. And then I'll take this right here that's attached to the ornament and just bend it back into the wreath. Just like that. Okay, just to show you, here is the back side of my wreath. Everything is clipped and cleaned up. I don't have any long tails anywhere. Okay, so these are like bent, clipped and bent over. Oh my gosh, y'all. I love it. Okay. I mean, I don't even know if you can tell how big <laughs> this wreath is. Um, I keep like trying to like shove like camera back further and like trying to adjust it to get it all in here. It is so big and so pretty. I love it. All right. Questions you may have. Why did I not like hot glue the ornaments? Because if I hot glue the ornaments, I could stick them anywhere I wanted. I do not do a lot of hot glue on my wreaths because, and there's nothing wrong with hot glue. There's times that I do have to, but if you live like in Texas, in Florida, Arizona, anywhere where it's like constantly hot and sunny, hot glue's gonna melt. Um, even here in Kentucky, I mean, if your front porch, like if your front door, is constantly like right in the sun, like you have sun all day long, the heat from the sun is gonna start to make your hot glue, obviously it's gonna warm it up, so it's gonna start to melt and your things are gonna fall off. You're gonna open your door one day and there's gonna be ornaments on the ground. Now, if you live somewhere maybe it's a little bit cooler, you're, you have more shade on your front porch or something, go ahead. But that's why I don't do a lot of hot glue. I do pipe cleaners because once you have it attached to a pipe cleaner, it's there. It's not going anywhere. You don't have to do exactly what I did. I just kind of do things to give you a little inspiration, kind of give you some ideas. Um, you don't have to add the ornaments. Um, you could add the spider if you want. I felt like the black spider just kind of blended in too much with this. And if you have like a colorful spider, um, that would look cute like right here. And also wrapping of the pumpkin. Um, now like I said, I'm going to show you, I do the back side of mine. For one, we have a glass front door. So whatever's hanging on our front door, you see it. So I want it to be just as clean on the back as it is the front. Um, so if you don't want to do this, just keep doing the front. You know, still use the same pipe cleaners, but just twist and do the front of it. I just like to complete the back of it. <laughs> but all right, um, let me know what you think of this. Um, and two, I, actually I thought about adding a broom to it, but sometimes I don't want to get like carried away and add too much stuff to it, but if you have a broom, you want to kind of play around with it, that's an idea. But all right, that's it. Like I said, let me know what you think. Um, and if you like this, make sure that you give me a thumbs up because it really does help with my channel. I mean, just simply just clicking that, that little thumbs up, it really does help and it lets YouTube know that you like this kind of stuff. So, but all right, um, a lot more crafting, decorating, and wreaths coming up. Maybe like another like fall wreath, and of course our Frankenstein wreath. We're gonna make a big Frankie wreath. Um, I'm just kind of waiting on one other thing to come in for that wreath. But all right, that's it. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.